The old men say wonders happen back in the time in a village in Korea. There lived a poor woodcutter named Jun with his wife John. The couple owned nothing but a small hut and an axe. Jun had to go to the forest and cut trees every single day for the living. One day, there is not a cloud in the sky. I feel worn out. Let me go deep into the forest to find any stream. He began to walk and walk and walk. But he could find nothing but dried leaves all around. And finally, what a relief. June ran to the water, got on his knee and began to quench his thirst. And when he was about to fetch for the one last time, What is that? I think I'm holding its handle. Well... After a long struggle, the woodcutter pulled out a huge pot out of the stream. What a huge pot! It looks astonishing. I must take this home. June placed his axe inside the huge pot and carried it to his home. Jong, honey, look what I have got today. Oh, goodness. That's so huge. Where did you get this? June narrated the entire incident. The couple looked into the pot. Their eyes grew wide. There are two axes. The pot is magical. I got an idea. The couple put some rice in the pot and left it overnight. The next day, the pot began to overflow with rice. The couple rejoiced. They tried the same with a few silver coins, followed by gold and many other jewels. They became rich, richer and richest of all. Suddenly, Honey! Help! Help! help. Oh no! There were two Jong at the time. The situation got worse as it was impossible to tell them apart. And there they learned the lesson for their greediness. Kids, what have you learned from the story? The couple in the story were too greedy that they lost their mind and bought in themselves double trouble. So kids, never be too greedy at any time. A great while ago, when the world was full of wonders, a poor fisherman who lost his boat in the middle of the sea due to a storm reached shore swimming. When he returned home to his wife, Honey, I lost the only boat that I had. Oh. What are we going to do for the living? Don't worry, sweetheart. You can anytime build a new boat out of a tree trunk. That's a brilliant idea. I'll go to the forest right away. The very night, the fisherman went in search for a tree 
and also got lost in the woods. <laughs> is a house at the distant. I shall seek the help of the dwellers. The fisherman went to the house and knocked its door. And there came an old couple. What can I do for you, young man? I couldn't find my way out of the woods. Can I please stay in your house till the sun comes up? Sure, please come in. Some time later. Sir, have you got anything for me to eat? I'm starving. Rest here, young man. We will be back in a while with dinner. Thanks for your kindness. The old couple left the place and entered a room. But the fisherman was eager to find out what they were preparing for the night. So he peeped into the room where the couple entered. On seeing the couple vanish. What did they just do? This hat must have some magical powers. The fisherman wore one of the hats and ordered the hat to follow the couple. Where am I? Ah, oh, deliciousness, deliciousness everywhere. The fisherman found the old couple stealing the food. Ah, now I know what you do. Young man, you shouldn't be here. You don't tell me what to do. I am going to stay here and eat all the food. Okay, it's time for us to flee. The old couple vanished and the fisherman began to feed on everything that came to his sight. What a wonderful dinner! And there came in soldiers. You are the culprit who is stealing food every day. I'll take you to the king. Oh, oh, ah, ah, ah. Majesty, he is the culprit who we were looking. Ah, set him on fire. Now, do you have any last ways? Think something, think something, think something. Ah, an idea. I want to wear my cap for one last time. It means a lot to me. The cap? That's it. Soldiers, put that on his head. So did the soldier. And as soon as he wore the cap, Go home! Go home! The fisherman vanished and reappeared in front of his home, still tied to the tree trunk. Sweetheart, I'm glad that you're back with the trunk. But why have you tied yourself to it? Honey, that's called fate. <laughs> Kids, what have you learned from the story? Despite the fisherman got himself in trouble, he was able to save his life by thinking wisely at the right time. So kids, thinking wisely at the right time will always help you. This tale goes back a long time ago in a countryside of Scotland. There lived a young woman named Margaret who owned a dairy farm. Margaret always had an unsmiling face and was always complaining about her life. Can't you move on your own, idiot? You are too huge for me to push you out every day to milk you. Ugh. Ugh. One day, I 
I'm so done with these gigantic brainless creatures. They always take my breath away. No way I can milk them anymore. Oh. Only if I was born as a princess. Suddenly, there came an old lady. Stool for sale. Stool for sale. Margaret, Margaret. Huh? Oof. This day couldn't get any worse. Get away from my farm, old lady. I don't want any stool. It's a magic, not as you think. What? A magic stool? I am not lying, child. Do as I say and you will know. The old lady asks Margaret to sit on the stool beside her cow. And so does Margaret. And to her surprise, I believe that I am not dreaming, am I? Old oh, lady, what do you want in return for this? I don't want anything in return. Rather, be kind to your cows. If you fail to do so, the stool will punish you on its own. You can have my word on that. As Margaret promised to be kind to her cows, the old lady left the farm. The next day, I wish this could have got easier too. Ugh. Ugh. Move on, you fatty. And this water I have to carry for your sake. <sighs> At last, I can rest myself. Oh my god, what's happening? I'm stuck to this. Mm. Ouch! Ouch! Get rid of me, you little thing. Ow! Ow! Where are you taking me? Not into the town! No! <laughs> oh, Margaret! That's a cool move! Where are you planning to head this way? <laughs> a jumping stool? That's awesome! <laughs> The stool took her wobbling all over the town and back to her farm. And people from the town followed her, laughing and giggling. <laughs> oh, everyone stop laughing at me. <laughs> That's when Margaret laughed after a very long time rather than complaining about her life. From there, she learned to be kind to the animals and to stay happy in her life. Kids, what have you learned from the story? Margaret had to face all these troubles as she was always complaining and she showed no respect towards other living beings. So kids, always feel satisfied with your life and learn to respect each other. Far, far away, beyond all sorts of countries, seas and rivers, there stood a beautiful empire ruled by a brutish emperor. There lived a poor young farmer named Chang, who was generous and kind despite his poverty. The farmer had an excellent talent. Every day after his work, he used to sit under a tree and draw beautiful sketches on the mud with little twigs.
One day when he was fast asleep, there appeared the wish fairy in his dreams. Oh, poor Chang! Your kindness and talent have pleased me. I will offer you a magic brush that will bring drawings to life only if you sketch said the fairy and placed the magic brush next to him and vanished not so late <sighs> if only my dream was real what tell me that i'm not dreaming soon chang went on to test his magic brush he drew some delicious food and to his surprise The magic brush is real. From that day, he drew a lot of food and clothes. He helped the poor and the needy of the empire the news spread like a wildfire and the brutish emperor came to know about chang and his magic brush without my knowledge go get him here now the very day the soldiers brought chang to the emperor's castle i have heard about your ability sketch a massive golden mountain or you shall be sentenced to death your imperial majesty if i do so will you set me free <laughs> not even in your dream you are my slave forever chang said the emperor mockingly chang became sad on hearing the emperor and quickly he came up with an idea there he drew a big sea instead of a golden mountain why did you sketch that I said golden mountain now Pardon me your imperial majesty He now drew a golden mountain far away in the sea Again you have spoiled it Sketch me a big ship now So did Chang The emperor got on the ship and traveled towards the golden mountain Chang who was on the seashore sketched dark clouds and tornado in the middle of the sea and it came out real The brutish emperor got stuck in the mid sea and he drowned to his death From then Chang was set free and he continued to help the poor and the needy Kids what have you learned from the story The brutish emperor in the story drowned to his death because of his greediness and impolite nature whereas Chang was rewarded for his kindness and talent So kids remember we grow by helping others grow Ever so long ago there lived two poor brothers who grew together the elder brother Rajiv was cunning by nature but the younger brother was not one day Rajiv got married to a wealthy and Sanjeev to a poor girl
Hey, brother. I'm moving to my wife's big house. You shall never come seeking my help under any circumstances. Said the cunning brother and he left. What shall we do for our living, honey? This house is all we got. Don't worry. Let us grow some plants around the house and harvest them. Sounds like an idea to me. So did the couple and lived a peaceful life. One day, a little multicolored sparrow came flying to Sanjeev's house with a broken leg. Oh, poor sparrow. Wait, I'll bring him some medicine. The couple treated the sparrow and made him rest in a cardboard box to heal. I have never seen such a sparrow in my life. Yes, he looks beautiful. Not too long, the sparrow healed completely. He waved goodbye and flew. And that evening, the sparrow left a small bag for the couple. Honey, the kind sparrow has left a few pumpkin seeds for us. Sweet! We shall sow them in our garden. The couple planted the seeds and watered it. The next day, Oh, what a miracle! The pumpkins are completely grown in a single day. Wow! We shall cook one for us. Yes, yes. Sounds like an idea. Sanjeev cut open the pumpkin and... The couple hurried and cut open the other pumpkins as well. All their pumpkins were loaded with gold and precious jewels. With all those jewels, the couple became wealthy like never before. The news reached Rajiv and his wife. This shouldn't have happened. I order you to find the magic sparrow, break its leg and bring it to me. So did the servants. and everything happened once again. Rajiv and his wife planted the seeds and went sleepless that night. The next day, We are rich! We are rich! yelled Rajiv in joy. The couple cut open the pumpkins and fumes started coming out of it. And... All their wealth got destroyed and the couple became poor as a church mouse. Kids, what have you learned from the story? Both the couples in the story got their deserving pay for their deeds. So kids, remember, you will reap what you sow. Do you wish to see load of stories here? Then please subscribe this channel. Along with your friends and family, enjoy all the videos of Magic Box. Magic Box English, a place to learn load of good things with happiness. Don't forget to subscribe.